Breaking news, US engine ban backfires in a way few could have predicted. In a stunning display of technological ambition, China's C919 takes flight powered by its own homegrown engine, shattering decades of Western dominance in the skies. Deep inside a Shanghai hangar, a new sound, echoed through the halls, not the familiar whine of the imported CFM Leap 1C, but the deeper, prouder roar of the CJ1000A. This is China's first domestically produced high-bypass turbofan engine, a marvel of engineering that signals a new era for Chinese aviation. This moment was more than just a technical milestone, it was political theater on a global stage, a bold statement of intent broadcast to the world. For decades, Western companies built the critical components that powered the world's fleets, and airlines everywhere lined up to buy them, cementing the West's grip on aviation. Jet engines were the crown jewels of aerospace technology, fiercely guarded and highly coveted. Washington's engine export restrictions were designed to keep China tethered to Western supply chains, ensuring continued dependence and control. But with the CJ-1000A's triumphant roar, that lever of influence was suddenly broken, and the world took notice. The C919, once reliant on Western engines, now stood on the brink of true technological independence, a symbol of China's growing prowess. Instead of slowing China down, the ban ignited a nationwide mobilization, uniting engineers, scientists and policymakers to forge a more self-reliant and determined competitor. For airlines around the globe, it signaled the arrival of a new contender, an alternative to the Boeing and Airbus duopoly, and a potential shift in the balance of power. For Western suppliers, it was a stark warning. The rules of the game had changed, and the old certainties could no longer be taken for granted. The roar of the CJ-1000A was just the beginning, a signal that the race for the skies has entered a bold new chapter. The US engine ban was a calculated move, crafted in the corridors of power and debated in hushed tones among policymakers. It wasn't just a reaction, it was a preemptive strike in a new era of global competition. This decision was born from deep-seated fears of China's rapid technological ascent as the nation poured resources into research and development, determined to close the gap with the West. For decades, American aerospace dominance stood as a pillar of both economic strength and national security, with industry giants like GE and Pratt & Whitney leading the charge, setting the global standard for innovation and reliability. Jet engines, with their intricate metallurgy, precision engineering, and sophisticated software, were seen as an unbreachable barrier. Technology so advanced it was thought to be out of reach for any challenger. The C919 wasn't just a new plane, it symbolized a direct threat to the long-standing Boeing Airbus duopoly and, by extension, to thousands of American jobs and the broader U.S. aerospace ecosystem. By restricting the export of engines, Washington aimed to slow China's rise, protect its own industry, and prevent the transfer of sensitive military technology that could tip the balance of power. The engine was the perfect choke point, a single, complex component the US believed China couldn't replicate quickly, giving America a crucial advantage. The plan was clear. Keep China dependent on American technology, retain leverage in negotiations, and ensure continued American leadership in the skies for years to come. It was a logical, historically rooted strategy of technological containment, echoing past efforts to maintain a strategic edge over rivals. But as history has shown, logic doesn't always predict outcomes. The world of technology is full of surprises, and the story was far from over. Washington expected the engine ban to cripple the C919 program. The assumption, China lacked the expertise to build a modern jet engine, a craft honed over generations in the West. Without Western engines, Comac would face grounded jets or be forced to negotiate concessions. The policy aimed to create dependency, keeping the heart of the aircraft in Western hands. The sanctions were also a warning to other nations, challenge the system, and you risk exclusion from critical technology. The best case scenario for the US delay or derail the C919, securing Boeing and Airbus's dominance. It seemed foolproof, because building a jet engine is incredibly hard. 
The U.S. miscalculated China's response. In Beijing, the ban was seen as an existential challenge, a direct assault on sovereignty. The C919 project became a national crusade, not just a commercial venture. The government unleashed massive funding, making domestic engine development a top priority. AECC was tasked with delivering a viable alternative, failure not an option. Universities and research institutes were mobilized, talent recruited globally, and a domestic supply chain built from scratch. Comac accelerated C919's entry into service with stockpiled Western engines, proving viability and buying time. Each successful flight was a statement. China's aerospace ambitions would not be grounded. The crisis became a catalyst for innovation and unity. The world watched as China turned pressure into progress. The CJ-1000A wasn't an overnight miracle. It was the result of years of relentless research, planning, and incremental progress. But when the U.S. imposed a sweeping ban on advanced aerospace technology, what had been a long-term ambition suddenly became a national emergency, igniting a sense of urgency across China's aviation sector. Chinese engineers, who had been methodically advancing, now shifted gears from steady progress to an all-out sprint. Project timelines were slashed, teams worked around the clock, and the entire industry rallied together, compressing years of development into mere months. The pressure was immense, but so was the determination. By early 2024, AECC had completed the first full engine assembly, a feat that once seemed distant. By the end of the year the CJ-1000A was already undergoing rigorous ground tests, with engineers meticulously monitoring every parameter and pushing the engine to its limits. Massive government investment poured in, supporting parallel development tracks and leveraging lessons from both domestic and international designs. This unprecedented mobilization fueled rapid progress, turning what could have been a setback into a springboard for innovation. The CJ-1000A marked a true breakthrough in material science and engineering, introducing advanced alloys and manufacturing techniques that broke a tightly held Western monopoly. For the first time, China had an engine that could compete on the world stage. For the C919, the new engine meant genuine independence. No longer would China's flagship airliner be vulnerable to foreign sanctions or supply chain disruptions. It was a turning point for the nation's aviation ambitions. The speed of development stunned the world. In just a few years, China had gone from facing crippling sanctions to fielding a working domestically produced jet engine, a feat few thought possible. While the CJ-1000A initially lagged behind Western models in fuel efficiency and some performance metrics, it proved to be reliable, robust, and, most importantly, entirely Chinese. It was a foundation to build upon. Ironically, the American strategy of containment had backfired. Instead of stalling China's progress, it had accelerated the birth of the very self-sufficiency it sought to prevent, reshaping the global aerospace landscape. The C919 now had a red heart, a powerful symbol of technological sovereignty and national pride, beating at the core of China's aviation future. China could now produce, sell, and operate the C919 entirely within its own ecosystem, free from external pressure or interference. This achievement opened new doors for the nation's aviation industry. The global balance in aviation had shifted, signaling a new era where China was no longer just a participant, but a true contender on the world stage. With its domestic engine, the C919 is now a real contender in the world's largest aviation market. Competing directly with the Boeing 737 MAX and Airbus A321i Neo, the C919 offers modern features and comparable performance. Its biggest advantage, a massive state-backed domestic market, guaranteeing orders and rapid scaling. Chinese airlines, encouraged by policy, provide Comac with a stable foundation to launch global ambitions. The C919 may trail slightly in efficiency, but it will compete aggressively on price, appealing to developing nations and those aligned with Beijing. The duopoly is broken, airlines now have a third choice. For many, a new affordable jet is too attractive to ignore. The C919 is set to become a common sight in skies across Asia, Africa and Latin America. The C919 mine's rise is reshaping global aviation, ending decades of US-Europe duopoly. The aircraft's arrival creates a third pole, centered in China, and introduces new geopolitical dynamics.
For Belt and Road nations, buying the C919 is both an economic and political decision, with China offering full package deals, planes, financing, infrastructure, and training. This extends Beijing's influence and builds long-term partnerships. The regulatory landscape is shifting too, as China pushes for its own certification standards, challenging FAA and ESA dominance. As more countries adopt the C919, global aviation standards may fragment. Boeing and Airbus must now compete with a state-backed rival playing by different rules. The predictable world of the duopoly is over. The skies are now a battleground of competing ambitions. The engine ban was meant to protect U.S. aerospace but it's backfired spectacularly. American suppliers, once poised to profit from the C919, now face lost sales as China replaces Western components with domestic alternatives. Each C919 with Chinese systems means millions lost for U.S. firms, adding up to hundreds of billions over time. China's new supply chain won't stop at Comac. These firms will soon compete globally, challenging American dominance. The policy designed to contain one aircraft has birthed a rival industrial ecosystem. U.S. firms now face new competitors in markets they once owned. The lesson building walls can create the very rivals you fear. The American aerospace industry now faces intensified competition and reduced access to the world's fastest growing market. The C919 and CJ1000A story is a modern fable about the limits of power and the paradox of containment. The US tried to manage China's rise through technology denial, but the world has changed, capital, talent and information flow freely. Instead of containment, the engine ban became a catalyst, triggering China's race for self-sufficiency. The policy underestimated China's ability to mobilize resources and talent, and its determination to overcome foreign obstacles. The sanctions, meant as a leash, became a starting gun. Now, the US faces a stronger, independent competitor, and a splintered global tech ecosystem. The c 919s success signals that trying to bottle up technology can backfire. The roar of the CJ-1000A is the sound of a paradigm shifting, and the world must now decide how to respond. The story doesn't end with the C919's maiden flights or the thunder of the CJ-1000A engine. Instead, these milestones mark the beginning of a new era in global aviation. One where China is not just a fast follower, but a genuine contender reshaping the industry's trajectory. Looking ahead, China's aviation ambitions stretch far beyond narrow-body jets. Plans are already underway for wide-body aircraft, advanced avionics, and next-generation propulsion systems, backed by sustained investment and a growing domestic talent pool. The lessons learned from the C919 project have forged a blueprint for future innovation, one built on resilience, iteration, and scale. For the rest of the world, the implications are profound. International airlines and manufacturers must now navigate a landscape with new competitors, shifting alliances, and evolving standards. Global supply chains may be redrawn and technology partnerships reimagined. The rise of a robust Chinese aerospace sector could drive down costs, increase connectivity, and accelerate the pace of innovation, but it also raises questions about market access, intellectual property, and the balance of power. As China's aviation industry soars higher, the world faces a choice, embrace collaboration and healthy competition, or retreat behind new barriers. The next decade will reveal whether the skies become a stage for rivalry or a shared frontier for progress. One thing is clear, the engine of change has been ignited and the flight path ahead is wide open. As the C919 takes flight and China's aerospace ambitions gain altitude, the world is watching and responding. In the United States and Europe, industry leaders and policymakers are grappling with the implications of a new major player. Some view China's progress as a wake-up call, prompting renewed investment in research and development, as well as calls for tighter export controls and stronger protection of intellectual property. Across Asia, countries like Japan, South Korea, and India are redoubling efforts to nurture their own aerospace sectors, seeking both collaboration and competition with Chinese manufacturers. Meanwhile, Emerging markets in Africa, Latin America, and the Middle East see opportunity in the C919's rise, potentially gaining access to more affordable aircraft and new technology partnerships that could reshape local aviation landscapes. Global alliances are shifting too. Aircraft leasing companies, maintenance providers, and supply chain operators are reassessing their strategies, weighing the risks and rewards of engaging with a rapidly evolving Chinese ecosystem. For some, the C919 represents a welcome alternative to the Western duopoly. 
For others, it's a disruptor that demands caution and adaptation. Ultimately, the world's response to China's aviation ascent is as varied as the nations involved, ranging from open arms to raised barriers, from cautious optimism to strategic rivalry. As the C919 carves out its place in the skies, the global aviation sector is entering a period of turbulence and tailwinds, where innovation, competition, and cooperation will determine who soars and who gets left behind.